and welcome back to the channel. On this video, my friend Keith is back with us. How are you doing, Keith? Pretty good, Mark. And Keith is riding his Aerial Rider Grizzly. It looks uh, nice and shiny. My bike is a little dirty, but I'll be riding the Lyric Graffiti as you see it right here. So on this ride, we're going to head from here back over to Snyder Park in Sherwood. Yeah. So we'll just uh, head off to there on a hot morning. It's what, 1039 in the morning. We're about 80 degrees here already. So it's a hot one. Oregon. Yeah, for this hour of the day too. All right, so cool right now. Keith is going to lead the way and I shall follow. All right. And let's have a good safe trip. So I have the bike as always, uh, pretty much always anyway, set in the pedal assist five. So I get the fastest uh, speed. Is it still on? So we is it still on? That's okay though. Yeah, I think it's right. You yeah. So I'm going to try to find that sidewalk when we go across that bridge. Okay. I'm kind of curious. So here we are at Fisher Road. And we're heading over here to 99W. If you're familiar at all with this area, it's a kind of a mean highway that cuts through Tigard as you uh, head toward the uh, Oregon coast. 99W or Pacific Highway West. So hopefully no flat tires as we ride in the shoulder of the road here. The dreaded pops sound, I don't like it. I cringe every time. There are times that uh, I wish this bike was a full suspension because uh, hardtail you do feel it. But if you're on the road, for the most part it's pretty smooth, but if you do anything off of the road at all, it's it's not great. I mean, you really, even with the fat tires, you really need a a rear suspension makes a big difference. So Keith up ahead riding the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly does have a full suspension and that's definitely better for, uh, for the rougher ride. Very busy right here so we're just going to use the uh, traffic light ahead to get across.
gets pretty busy here. There's not much you can do, especially with that uh, divider there, right? Dividing yeah. the lanes, there's not much you can do uh, as far as other than, I have gone there, but uh, it's usually pretty busy here and it's hard to do that. Yeah, it's too dangerous. Yeah. So we're taking the uh, pedestrian cross here to get over. Definitely warm when you come to a stop, you can feel the heat, but Like I say, it's just past 10.30 in the morning and it's already 80 degrees. And we're supposed to go into the 90s, 93, 94 today. Uh, you feel it mostly just when you stop. When you're riding along, you are fanned by the breeze that you're creating riding into the wind as we are right now. It's nice, it actually feels great. And no, I'm not wearing my motorcycle gloves today because they get pretty warm wearing them. I know that's a terrible excuse, but that's what I've got and I'm not going to wear them today. I'm just going to go bare hands and hopefully I don't have any situations. But I do have my X needle helmet on for sure. When I get my uh, Graffiti X, which is going to be coming at some point, supposed to anyway, next month, they're saying later in August, I uh, may be wearing my motorcycle helmet more again. line ends. In other words, this is the point where they say you're on your own. No bike lane, you're on your own. I see some glass here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that headlight is extremely bright. I can see some. Oh, here comes the guy with a bright headlight too. Wow, look at all the glass here in the uh, bike lane. My goodness, that's probably the most glass I've seen for that long of a stretch. Usually you'll have pockets of glass, but that's a long stretch here. And here we are riding into it, so I'm hoping that we're okay. Now it looks like the glass has finally ended. Most likely there was an accident over here and they didn't clean all the glass up. Lots of rocks in the uh, bike lane here. Sometimes the camera doesn't pick that up, but um, there are rocks and I can hear them popping on my tires and I can see them
that glass back there? I did. Boy, that was a long stretch, right, of glass. There yeah. must have been an accident or something there. I don't know. That's what it looked like. Yeah, because they usually just sweep it off to the side, yeah. right? Yeah. The they didn't. They, they just leave it all to us, right? Yeah. And you got to deal with it. Because you can tell it's that automotive glass, like those small pieces. Yeah. I think that's what happened. It looks like particles, but sometimes the camera doesn't pick that up, but... If you're a biker and you go on bike lanes, you know what we're talking about. This kind of stuff is all over the place. Some places, some roads are worse than others. Uh, some of them aren't that bad, but some of them are just horrible. Well, that must have been recent, because I, I ride down this road all the time, pretty much. Yeah, because you ride to work. Yeah, well, I haven't gone in a week, but yeah, I usually ride yeah, straight down this way. Have you been splitting your ride still between this and the red, or this one more? Well, I've been riding this one more, but last week I haven't really ridden because it was so hot. Yeah. And But I'm going to ride the Rad Rover tonight. Because once I get, we get done with the ride, I put this back in the garage. I don't like to charge it until it cools off for a little bit. So no, I'm, that's wise. Yeah, and that's why I've been told. So that, the other bike can already charged up, so I'll, I'll just ride that one tonight. That one gives me the exercise, actually. So you get, uh, yeah, the heat affects your battery and so does the cold. So, and you can't always have it perfect 70 degree weather you know that just yeah. doesn't that's just so they say the perfect temperature for riding and for your battery is 60 to 80 degrees 60 to 80. once it gets above 80 it starts to affect the battery more or below 60 especially if you get i think the colder affects the battery even more than the hot but uh but you don't want to either way if it's hot or cold you don't want to charge it up till it gets more room temperature Racetrack. Yeah, that's what I've been told too. You want to keep the battery probably right, right about 70 degrees. Yeah. Yep. So the, just about room temperature you want to get it, let it get to before you charge it. Right. Like, do you bring the battery in? No, I just charge in the garage. Oh, okay. I know it's a little warm in there, but yeah, it hasn't had no problem. Alright, we'll make a left on Okay, I had to spin my camera around, it was coming loose there, the selfie stick, so I had to spin it around to tighten it back up so we wouldn't lose the camera here, I don't know, it was pretty loose. Spinning it again. The selfie stick was really loose. I had to tighten it up and I kept spinning it around. So everything was kind of loose here. I think it's okay now. I tightened it up some, but this was really loose. Well, remember, you, okay, you want to get to the, like, the angle you want it, and then you want to tighten this up, because this is, that keeps this in place. Yeah, because it was getting, 
You should probably get like a pair of pliers to tighten this up, even on this. Like, yeah, because they I think the vibrations of the bike just just slowly time. loosens it up, yeah. Coming back to a bike lane here. limit on this road, Oregon Street, is 35 miles per hour. We're well below that, so we're fine and we're cruising at about 18, 19 in the bike lane and trying to avoid as much debris as we can, but it's kind of hard to do because it's all over the place, especially those rocks. Big stick there. I saw it go flying off of Keith's bike. A little bit of a hill right here. Murdoch Park, and if you need to go to the restroom, well, we have a portalet right there. But we don't need to go at this time, so we'll push on.
sharp turn right here. Mock Street. Looks like we're gonna go up a pretty steep hill right here. Wow. Get a little run at it. Oh, we're turning here. Keith, our navigator there. Oh, he's kicking it up a notch there. Look at him go. Can the graffiti keep up? You kicked it up a notch there. So we've arrived at Schneider Park. Artificial, huh? Yeah. Artificial soccer, though. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Probably worth That's a lot. Fancy. Yeah. We never had that when we were kids. No. We played on the mud. <laughs> crappy. What's that smell? It's uh, rubber burning or something. It smells like. Does it? Yeah. Hopefully it's not the bike. <laughs> All right. Well, we made it to Snyder Park here in Sherwood. It's our second time coming over here. This is a really nice place. So yeah, I like I it. Like that, right? And this is a nice park, and there's always something happening. What's over there? And then they've got the pickleball. Uh, That's right, it's on the other side, right? Yeah, over there. They got the soccer field. Yeah, I think sometimes wherever you go, especially on a Sunday, it's going to be busy. I took park by crazy right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at the nice weather brings everybody out, you know. And then, oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Nice. Well, we made it to Snyder park again Keith so All right. so we're gonna end the video right here then we're gonna mosey on for our next journey yeah, so gonna... thank you for joining us on this video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button as we do some uh, traveling around here in Oregon if you would like to subscribe to the channel just hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and if you want to be uh, or comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining us and thank you, Keith, for joining me. And until next time, keep your wheels in the road. See you later. <laughs>